All right, so I went and did my daily challenge. I got a little reward from yesterday's. I got the top 75%, so not very good. I'm not sure if it's like a top, like I don't know what tiers are, so I'm not sure if I had to go all the way up to 25% or what. But, uh, also, I didn't hit save and quit. I just closed the program and that apparently doesn't save it even though it auto saves a lot of other things. So like story progress seems to, like the progress across the different modes is a little confusing, but you can definitely do the save and quit option. Uh, if you're gonna close the game. Um, like, I didn't lose my my persistent progress stuff, like, I just, I think I lost the experience and uh, this, just this one level of story progress. Anyway. What exactly must you do before releasing Talia? I must reclaim enough of my essence to leave Talia's body and survive the journey back to origin. Survive it, or attempt it. They are one and the same. Not at all. One definition is selfless and one is selfish. I think we know which you mean. You reclaim your essence from declaiming the larger demons here? Yes. Good. There's one nearby. I can locate them on your surveillance system. Some of them are monstrous. Oakley dokley. Oh! Snack! It's Snack Man. Ow, I was poisoned. Did we meet Snack Man? I met him. I think I saw him the first time in my survival rounds. Also, survival mode is weird. It has its own separate level up system, but it shares your progress for the totem, or shards, whatever those things are called. Um, yeah, shards. So I made some persistent progress, but the experience was basically only contained in that mode. Also there's a, like a prestige mode, which I guess gives you some benefits for, you know, resetting to level zero. So that shard thing that lets us like gain HP, it's not really a huge deal then. So machine. Nah, I want the real gun. Give me the metal. So, I think everything except level is persistent through all modes, no matter what. And, um, I think level's a bit special. Oh, this freaking jerk. I, I can never tell when he's doing the, the thing that makes him... Is it no? I don't know what the tell is. Also, I found... Well, it's not very useful for that one. Um, the reflecty thing, it doesn't just reflect or push back enemies, it reflects projectiles too. So it's a lot more useful than I initially thought. But the cooldown on it is pretty crazy. Oh, that, that was not the right attack. Okay, it doesn't work for this particular projectile either. So, I mean, it's very limited use. I do want to get rid of it as soon as possible. But uh, I still haven't unlocked a new oath yet. I, I did some minor upgrades. I'll show those once we get to the level up screen. Or the whatever. Um, I also heard somebody else on, on Twitter is playing this. I mean, lots of other people playing this. But... Uh, Somebody who follows me mentioned that it gets pretty hard later on, so I, I, I guess we'll see. But, um... It's an interesting mix of... Progress. Oh! Embrace 1! I think that's another... I think that's a miracle. So I can finally replace this stupid push attack. Yeah, I've, I've been liking the, uh... Progression system so far. Seems pretty cool. I... And I like that you can un... I love that you can respec. I, I always love when games let you, you know, change stuff out, because, you know, feels less is like a crazy commitment. Uh, nah, keep that, keep that railgun. Just get all them metal parts. Oh, excuse you. Sure. Oh, it's not going there yet. I, don't, I think there's supposed to be a door, like an openable door, like one of those switch doors, rather, um, per area, but, uh, oop, hello. But, uh, I haven't seen one here yet, so I assume it's over in this area, which is, like, super squirreled away from everything else. Oh, nope, maybe, maybe there just isn't one in every area. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I definitely think ammo from chests is all the all the more ammo I need. I don't really even use the freaking round gun too much. Let's ascend. Naziri, how is it you're still alive? Dang, that was a quick level. When all around us are dead or consumed. I'm currently sealed in the Carangelus communications or surveillance room. I will be safe for a short while. Sealed against demonic incursion. Impossible without the proper wards and runes. They clearly used clearly I used the proper wards and runes. 
How could you prepare for such an eventuality? Once you knew it was coming. Enough of that talk now. Continue your work, Seraph. Fine, fine. You don't have to be such a dick about it. Huh? Oh. Also, I don't know if I... I think if I pick a blessing, I'm locked into it. So I think maybe some of these were maybe a poor idea. Um, because there's some way more cool things, like, we can... Yeah, we can make spite, smite actually hurt things, which is neat. XP drop by moats, like, I, I don't think this was a good one to get after all. I don't know. Uh, double nothing. Yeah, I don't think... This This one was definitely dumb. I, I figured I could get a different one. And just, you, should, you may choose a blessing or healing... A blessing or blessing upgrade for level 4. Oh, yeah, that's just... Never mind. 6 seconds. To my litany. Yeah, I don't find any of these very useful, but I guess extending... If I can get this to go all the way up to 10 seconds plus 5 stacks, that's pretty legit. Let me... I'm gonna go back and review my blessings. I'm not entirely sure how that system works yet. Um, shotgun Mark 1. Oh, yeah, I've been using the shotgun a bit in the... in the roguelike sort of modes. It's it's okay. Ah, uh, here, we, here we go. So. Sigil. All enemies within a large distance are marked with Sigil. Then they attack. 50 holy damage. That doesn't seem too great. Uh, sounds a light level at the ground directly below, reaching up to the ceiling. That seems pretty legit. Um, golden links to nearby demons. One second. Okay, I think I want embrace. Comet plummets to the ground incredible speed, fifty base damage. Now nah, I want to go with embrace. Embrace, in level lockers. In level lockers. What? Wait, I don't just pick my things? Why are there miracles in lockers? That's a little weird, don't you think? Oh, whatever. Oaths. Can I make... No, I can't make Potheos, so... A life Seeker is I, I got some of these tier 3 oaths, so... Um, enemies will spawn some health orbs very rarely. Damage from physical and unholy damages or sources are uh, reduced. Um, yeah, the, the holy one is annoying because I need two uh, Potheos level two shards to do anything. I, I I guess I can just toss these into these shotgun assault rifle. What is the assault rifle? What the um? I'll just put one in both because I have enough to spare for now. Yeah, you can remove them from the slots you don't really need, and uh, turn them into a higher level shard and put it into a thing that you actually do want. But uh, for now, I want to selected miracles. Okay, you can change the miracles. Wait, what? I want this instead of slot A. Hold. Okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta Chivo for changing our miracles, okay. Um, Codex. Oh, yeah, here's some of the... Oh, we can see our little... Little cute little demons. The Surf. The Surf is the rank and file foot soldier of the Trinity. They possess four incredibly powerful limbs, the tips of which are capable of brutally sharp serrated blades. It's a minded but horrifyingly fast. The Surfs are especially deadly when they hunt in groups. Alright, so this is neat. And it seems like all of them can have, like, a level up form, like, the ones you have to use smite on. So I- wait, no, I forgot to do the one thing that I was talking about doing. Oh well. The thing with the, the blessings. I'm not sure what you- how you deal with that. Whatever. Guide, are you still there? Yes, of course. I am everywhere. I am confused by why the demons do not leave this place. Obviously I'm thankful they haven't. I believe there is a bond between you and the Termini, formed when you brought them here. They are as much tied to you as you are to them. Much like you cannot return to Origin whilst they live, they cannot leave the Corangelis while you still remain. I see, so they wish me dead. I suppose it would be hypocritical of me to be defended. <laughs> so it's kind of like how Dwarf Fortress where, uh, well, it's kind of a spoiler I suppose, but uh, oops, whoa. Wait, how much railgun ammo do I have? 
120. Maybe I should start using it a bit more. Yeah, I have no idea what class, like weapon class. I It probably says on the weapon screen. Or on the, uh, like when I can change weapons. Oop, hello. Goodbye. I guess I should kill these things before I finish it up. Oh wait. Well, they'll just keep respawning, so... Ow. Oh, and the way the difficulty thing at the bottom works is that the, you gain... Over time, you gain more of those white blocks. And the more white blocks there are, uh, the faster uh, the difficulty level rises. And um, once you get hit, you lose half of the white marks. So, ow. So yeah, there goes my white mark. There were some really interesting blessings when I was playing the survival mode. They, they were all way cooler than the ones I have, so I don't know. I don't know if that's totally RNG or what the deal is with that. But I'll, I'll investigate that after after I finish this level. Oh, excuse me. I actually got farther in the survival mode than I got in the story mode. It's like it's basically a playthrough of single player, like the normal mode. I mean, it's all single player, but. Yeah, the survival mode's pretty fun. I, I, I don't usually like that kind of thing, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. I did. I was wondering when it would end, though. It's 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 kind of long since I think it's like the full game basically. I just decided to give up once I hit uh, a million points, which is only a tenth of what the top scores were. But it took a fair amount of time to get that far, so I, don't know, I, I figured it would be shorter. I guess the dailies are for if you want a short challenge. Which, they're almost too short, so I don't know. No, I have nothing. Oh, excuse me. You die now. Wait, is that a light mode? No. I hate that the light mode's in the same color as all of the lights, and I keep thinking like, Oh, I gotta get that. Oh, no, that's just a light. It's kind of like an Uncharted. You'll you'll start seeing shimmers everywhere, and they're not there. You just, you're just seeing things, because you, you're looking for them. Oh, hello! Where, where did you come from? Okay, Railgun is its own gun type. So, I don't think any of those weapon skills really help me for my favorite weapon. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, and, and you can reset. I forget if I mentioned this. You can reset your level for some sort of perks, apparently what it said on the menu screen and I that makes me worry a lot less about the thing that lets you level up uh, or like it changes how much health you get per level up because I'll, I'll be able to keep the shards but reset my level so then I'll have you know I'll be able to min max that properly so I'm fine with that excuse me oh, rude. these things are probably my least favorite I guess they seem to be the highest level one, aside from maybe the snack men. The snack men seem new. I saw them regenerate health once, the snacks, but uh, new log entry. Been some months since I consulted the Seraph. Fortunately, he refuses to talk to me. It says nothing. Not even a single word. Just sits there in a catatonic state, golden eyes, open but unblinking. Um, tend to focus my efforts on making contact with the Seraph's host. Human host and said, although quite how we do this is beyond me. Perhaps this is the key to the making connection with the Seraph? Probably not. I mean, you did capture me, bro. Ow. These enemies very slightly remind me of the post-human Zom like not zombies, but like the, the mitochondria beast things in um, Parasite Eve 2. What a damn good game. I know some people don't like it because you know it's not the R the pure RPG that the first one was, but it's a damn fine game, and it's one of my favorite survival horrors on the PS1, which was oddly both kind of the beginning. I mean, this like Alone in the Dark. Uh, I think that's what it's called, and um, I, there's, there's some earlier kind of survival horror stuff, but 
The PS1 is basically where the genre got its start and really has a lot of the best examples in the genre, which is pretty surprising. I mean, you'd think it would take, you know, genres usually take time to, you know, hit their stride. Uh, but if anything, survival horror kind of benefited from the awkward early days. Um, but anyway. But may Bolts return horn to origin? Will the demons that reign be destroyed or released? Impossible to tell for sure. It's never happened before. Never happened before. Not my problem. Well, if we just blow up this whole boat, I mean, everybody's dead anyway. View current blessings. Can I? Yeah, I think that's. I think I just have to like reset my level to get better, different blessings. I guess. I, I'm a little confused because that seems random too, which seems a bit rude. Okay, so we can make a Pathios. So yeah, squared or combine those. And can I unlock a higher tier in this? Fifty. Nope. Can I unlock a higher tier in this. It'll be worth nine. So no. Uh, I just gotta put it into something I actually am using. Wait, isn't there one with like maximum health on shards? Yeah, I think it's in holy. Collecting shards will now boost your maximum health. Heck yes. Two HP per shard. That seems that seems OP actually, but whatever. We'll see how it works out. Because, yeah, from that level, I would have gained 18 health? Really? Or, and that's fragments, so I guess 3 maybe? Or th 3 three plus, so that's 6, which seems quite a lot. But, yeah. Anyway, next time we'll, we'll talk to the guide, I guess.